Welcome back. It is 9:10. Two new studies from the CDC showing fully vaccinated Americans' immunity to COVID-19 is waning as the more transmissible Delta variant continues to spread. In fact, one study found that the vaccine declined by as much as 30 percent since the Delta variant became the dominant strain. So what does this mean for those fully vaccinated and even those who are not? Joining me to weigh in on this and other issues is Dr. David Zeke with Northwestern Medicine. Good morning to you, Dr. Zeke. We have so much to catch up on. So much has happened since you and I last spoke, but let's break down what we've learned from these CDC studies. Let's start with these numbers first. The CDC study found unvaccinated people are about 29 times more likely to be hospitalized than those who are fully vaccinated, and that unvaccinated people are nearly five times more likely to be infected with COVID than the vaccinated. So let's talk about what this study has revealed that maybe we didn't know. Well, like you said, this is something that we've known for a long time. People who are fully vaccinated are getting sick a lot less. I'm still getting calls for breakthrough infections, but the duration is shorter and the symptoms are much milder. It is very unusual if you are fully vaccinated to have to be hospitalized. In the emergency department right now, I'm admitting two patients to the hospital, one to the intensive care unit. Both are unvaccinated. Currently, I have nobody who is fully vaccinated that I am treating for COVID uh, in the emergency department. Wow, that says so much, doesn't it? Okay, let's focus on the fully vaccinated a little more. As I said, the evidence is showing that these vaccines are declining by as much as 30%. So my question to you with that is, are these breakthrough infections actually happening more as a result of the more contagious variant that's now going around? Absolutely. So like I said, I'm getting a lot of calls from my fully vaccinated patients to say that they do have COVID, but this is a very important point. First of all, 30%. There's a lot of different studies out there and we're getting a lot of different numbers from across the world. Israel really has a, an outlying data that is very uh, dramatic and says, yes, it's declined significantly. But it's very important to know that that is declining symptomatic infection protection, okay? The protection against severe illness, hospitalization or death is still thought to be over 90% no matter which study you look at. And so still we have good immunity even before any booster comes in. You are not completely unprotected by any means. You have some waning of the protection against symptomatic illness and virtually no decrease in protection against severe illness. Okay, you mentioned boosters. Let's talk about that because breaking this morning, Johnson & Johnson just releasing a report that says a booster dose of its vaccine generated a huge spike in antibodies. And I think that's really interesting for people who've been waiting to hear more about the J&J &J vaccine because we haven't heard much about what this means for boosters there. So is this significant for that group? It certainly is. We knew it was only a matter of time. Johnson & Johnson tested their vaccine both with single dose and double dose. They found that double dose very early on did boost immunity a little bit, but not so much that it made it worthwhile. So they came out with this single dose, and we know that if you give a second dose many months later, it was going to boost immunity further. Now they have the data, and that's why they're coming out and saying it's time to get the booster. Okay, so let's talk about the boosters then. Are there new boosters in the works when the time comes, six to eight months, when it's time for everybody to get it? Are there new boosters that will combat not only the Delta variant specifically, but also any other new variants that could likely emerge? It's an excellent question. And the answer is no, there is not new boosters available right now. The vaccine manufacturers are, are looking very closely at Delta variant, Lambda variant, and they're monitoring anything else that might come up to see if they need to tweak uh, the vaccine as a booster. But right now, the booster dose is strictly the same dose that you got, the same makeup as the original vaccine. Okay, now let's talk about the Delta variant in general. It was overseas before it came to the U.S. And then it appears now in some of those countries, we are starting to see the numbers go down. Does that mean this has a cycle and it won't be long before we see these numbers going down in the U.S. as well? We hope so. There's so many factors that go into the ebbs and flows of, uh, of a nation's uh, uh, attack rate 
And so much of it depends on how much they're isolating, how much mask, they're, mask wearing they're doing. We know that in the original virus, many countries were not hit as hard as the United States. Why the United States? Because there's a lot of pushback about the control measures that we have. So yes, we're seeing it go down in other countries that have very different populations and very different adherence to these sorts of preventive measures. We're hoping that applies to the United States, but we've got some work to do. Okay, finally, how much longer do you think we're gonna be dealing with COVID-19? I know you'll probably chuckle at this question, but Dr. Fauci is saying he's hoping by spring of 2022, we're finally going to have a grasp on this. So what Dr. Fauci said was by spring of 22, we might see good containment if several things happen. Number one, our vaccinations rate went up significantly in the country. We also have to get people uh, their booster vaccines so the immunity doesn't wane. We have to continue to be cautious, but really it also depends on the world getting vaccinated. Because as you mentioned, as long as there's large populations that are unvaccinated, new variants are going to occur. And that's where these things come into the United States. So if we get the world more vaccinated, the United States more vaccinated and take appropriate precautions, yes, we will be better in the spring, maybe closer to normal, the COVID is with us for many years to come in some uh, degree or another. Yeah, let's hope that it's never going to be as bad as it was in the last year. I guess we'll have to wait and see what happens. Dr. Zika, as always, thank you for joining me. Good to see you. Same here.